This is Terrence Dean, the author of the new book, Mogul. The story of entertainment producer Aaron Big A.T. Trimble, who has it all, money, fame, success, even that girlfriend, but he also is holding a bitter secret about his sexuality. When compromising photos of him land in the hands of his girlfriend and at an entertainment news magazine, Big A.T. has a huge decision to make. Will he come out of the closet publicly, or will he watch his entire empire crumble before his eyes? Mogul, the new hottest summer read. Go get it. As I was working on my book, Who's Afraid of Post-Blackness? A Look at What It Means to Be Black Now, Michael Eric Dyson helped me define three primary dimensions of blackness. He called them accidental, incidental, and intentional. I prefer to call them introverted, ambiverted, and extroverted. The introverted or accidental mindset is about a more private relationship with blackness. Think Clarence Thomas, Condoleezza Rice. Dyson says it's the mindset of, I'm an American, I'm a human being, I happen to be black, by accident of birth, I'm black. It just happened that way. Ambiverted or incidental blackness is like Barack Obama, Colin Powell, Will Smith, people who have a more fluid relationship with blackness. It's an important part of them, but doesn't necessarily dominate their persona. Dyson says it's people who embrace blackness, they aren't trying to avoid it, but that ain't the whole of their existence. I love it, but it doesn't exhaust me. Then there's intentional or extroverted blackness. Malcolm X, Dr. King, Jim Brown, Jay-Z. Dyson said they're like, I be black, that's what I do, that's what my struggles are about. Finding most people within one of these three modes isn't easy. Most of us modulate between the modes. Dyson said, here's the trick black people always understand. Depending on where we are, we're any one of those blacknesses. This is the beauty of blackness. When you're at your job in a white corporation and you're trying to get a raise, you're probably accidentally black. You say, hey, Bob, how are you? You see Modern Family last night? Hysterical. Hey, can I get a raise? You may also throw in a little extroverted blackness to further your bond by bestowing a feeling of coolness on whoever you're talking to. You might say, yo, you heard that new Jay-Z album? It's tight. And what you're saying is that I'm going to give you temporary access to the black card. This card's going to self-destruct in 24 seconds, but for a moment, you're going to feel cool, and that'll help me build the relationship I need. What's up, it's your man Malice, one half for the clips. You already know, Re-Up Gang. I basically got started in uh, hip hop, just always having a love for hip hop. You know, we uh, come up with Chad and Pharrell, and uh, you know, we just was making demos in, in Chad's room. At the time, they really didn't have uh, their foot in the door, they just knew a, you know, a few people, and they were coming up themselves trying to get a, a record deal at first. The Neptunes at first were a rap group, you know, before a production team. And uh, we would just make demos, take trips to New York, and, uh, you know, just, just wait to hear back the yay and nay. The book is uh, entitled Wretched, Pitiful, Poor, Blind, and Naked. I can't even begin to tell you about this book. And, and this is not, it's, it's not even a long book that's going to take you weeks to read. You can sit down in one setting, about three hours and read, three and a half hours, and read this book. It's not uh, a whole bunch of fluff about me or, or stuff to, to make me look good or anything like that. I'm actually quite exposed. Definitely is just laying everything out. We all had our wake-up calls. We all had our warnings, like the whole truth. I think mine was, uh, I can't say the most of it, but it was, it was up there. It was up there.